Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to walk through the foundation to building a six-figure training business that is here. It's built to last. It is not a one-hit wonder. Um, a lot of coaches can reach 100K in one year, and then they can't repeat it. So this is for you if you want to have a repeatable way of running this business year after year. And I'm going to try to make this video as simple as possible uh, because there's no need to overcomplicate this stuff. Okay. So if you want more help with this, reach out to me, go to my phone number right below this video. I do this every single day. I do it for a living. Uh, I love helping coaches that want to take their business to the next level and really good at it. All right. Got really good results. So uh, let's start here at the top. Okay. So if you want to have foundation to six figure coaching business that's built to last. Again, it's not just here one year and, and gone the next. It's here for as long as you are in your career. Here's what we need to do, okay? So first, we got to focus on like who is coming into your ecosystem, all right? And there's, there's always two types of people. There are good leads and there are bad leads. And here's the thing. Like it's very common right now there are agencies, there's companies out there that will target you as a trainer and they'll say, hey, we'll run your ads and guarantee 100 leads over the next 30 days. And here's the thing. What if those 100 leads that they give you are bad? What if they don't convert into a client? What if they don't show up to the call? Like, So what you have to do is you have to discern a good lead from a bad lead. A good lead is someone that gets to you that is hungry to work with you, someone that gets to you that has a problem that needs to be solved for their child, and someone that gets to you that is ready to start working with you, all right? That is a good lead. A bad lead doesn't pick up their phone. A bad lead misses a scheduled call. A bad lead um, might wanna check out a free session, but they just wanted a freebie. They, they, they didn't want anything else beyond that. So for you, you have to position yourself in a way to get good leads. So you eliminate the wasted time of talking to bad leads. And let me give you an example. All right, I spoke with a trainer a couple of days ago. In the month of uh, February, he had 200 leads come into his business. He was running Facebook ads. Um, and that's, that's a lot of people, right? So 200 people added into his email newsletter, added to his contact database. That sounds huge on the front end, but about 196 of those people were terrible leads. So he had four good leads out of 200. And out of those good leads, two of those people committed to his program. So it's like, I'm using that to show you that if you run ads and do stuff like this, like the goal is to get good leads. Um, if you don't run ads and you are, uh, you're doing things where you're like doing organic posting or DMs or you're sending out emails or you're doing cold messaging, uh, you're joining Facebook group. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to drum up business, but regardless of what you do to generate leads, you have to be able to have that discernment, right? Because more leads doesn't equate, in my opinion, just because you have more leads, that doesn't mean you're going to have a better business. That just means you're dealing with more people that, um, some of those people may not ever want to work with you in the first place. They just got distracted and clicked on your ad. Okay. Uh, so this is why for you, you want to be able to engineer a process when someone gets to an actual call with you, they are prepped to speak with you. They are ready to talk with you and they know what's up before they even have that call. And ultimately, this is the stuff that I'm engineering with coaches like right now. It's like this process. So when a prospect gets to you, they're either going to be a good lead and talk to you or they're going to disqualify themselves and not take a call with you because they're going to realize that they're a bad lead and they're going to know that you don't talk to bad leads. And that's kind of the beauty of what I'm developing now. It's like we only want you to talk to people that are ready, that are serious that's it okay so that's really important all right leads like and I, I don't want people to i don't want you to get confused like to think that oh i just need more people to hear about you 
of course, more people need to hear about you, but it's the right type of people that hear about you. And that goes uh, to the next thing here. So you can get all the customers in the world, okay? And this is coming from someone that has a lot of experience. I have experience working with hundreds of players at one time within my training program, okay? And I can verify that uh, we had a lot of great customers and we also had some bad customers. And the bad customers can take away from the enjoyment that you have with the good customers. And that is really frustrating. And what I will tell you is most coaches, when I say most, more than 50% of the coaches that I ever speak with, they have these businesses that are filled with bad clients. Clients that don't show up, don't pay, they owe money, they're late to camps, late to clinics, they want refunds when they miss, um, they don't follow any procedures. Like These bad clients can ruin your business. And you could have, example, you could have 30 good clients and five bad clients. Those five, those five bad clients are always on your mind. They're always giving you that headache when you're on the highway driving up to the park or the, or the course, wherever you're training. And like those five people shouldn't be involved with your business anymore. All right. And this is why I always tell people you like growing your business. It's not just getting more clients. It's getting great clients because great clients are different than bad clients. All right. And I broke it down here. So you can run this business two different ways. You can either run it with a few great customers that pay a premium. Uh, they are, when they pay more, they pay more attention. Okay. They take you more serious and they're more likely to get the result that you offer. And this is the whole point of this business, right? Like you're here to coach kids. So they get better, they get results. And the only way they get results is if they show up, if they're taking it seriously and the more people pay you, the more serious they take your training program. And it's like this with anything in life, right? If you're going to pay for something and you pay high dollar, it's on your mind. You're going to take it more serious. You're going to show up. You're going to do the work. This is how parents are with you when you make these sort of changes with their business. And bad clients, all right, I broke it down here. Like You could make six figures in one year training a bunch of bad clients. But I would always ask you, like if I called you on a Monday morning, I was like, hey, like how's everything going with your business? And you're like, man, like I'm dealing with X, Y, Z. It's really hard, it's really frustrating. Uh, and this is why I always, like if you look back the last couple of videos, I, I've, I've tried to break this down very clearly. You making six figures and not enjoying it, like what's the point? Like I, I really do mean it. Like, what's the point? Because like, that's like the same thing as going to work for someone and not liking your job. And like, you're just getting paid to do it. Like with this, there's actually more pressure because there's more people depending on you, all right? And so this is why I would always try to get you to critically think about this. Do I want to have a few great customers? Example, 30 great customers that pay you $4,000 a year. That's 120K per year before taxes uh, or do I want to deal with like a hundred clients that are paying me a hundred dollars a month and make the same amount. And a lot of those people would be bad clients and I'm chasing them and they're texting me last second. Like you get to decide who you work with. And this is something that I, I think a lot of coaches and trainers don't understand. It's like, you think that just because someone reaches out to you that you absolutely have to train them. And that's, that's not the case. Like maybe when you're starting, like you need clients and you drum up business. I get that. But after you get experience with this business, you need to discern and say like, yes, this is the right type of person I'm going to work with. And nope, I am not going to work with this type of family. And that's okay. Like it took me probably two years of being in this business to realize that and I wish I would have known that on day one, because if I knew that on day one, I would have saved a lot of time, would have made way more money. And I would have been a lot happier with with the clients that I was actually training because I would have eliminated people from working with me that shouldn't have been there in the first place. All right. So this is a key point, right? You either need a few customers that are paying high price, 4K per year, 
Go look at the math. That's going to be less than what they are paying for club sports. I can guarantee you. People that are signing up for club sports right now are paying so much money per year to travel for training fees, uh, tournaments, gear, uh, all this extra stuff that they're doing throughout the year. Um, and you charging $4,000 per year is not this like ludicrous thought. Like I know so many coaches right now that charge way more than that, that I've actually worked with. So if you're one of those people that, you know, maybe you think you're, you're not going to be able to charge that much. I would challenge you to get on a call with me and I'm not going to debate you on it. I'm going to show you how to do it. Right. So you can be one of these people that has a chill business working with committed clients. All right. And then when you scale that out from like 30 to a hundred or 200 or even 300 clients, you want all of your clients to be the same way. And it's going to be really hard to run a company where you have like a hundred clients. If a lot of them are bad customers, like it's, I promise you it ruins the enjoyment level of this business. And most coaches that start this business, they do this because they like it. They like coaching. They like mentoring. They, they like helping kids. And the second you start working with a bunch of bad clients, this business sucks. Like I, I know this firsthand. I see it all the time with people that I work with. And it leads coaches to be depressed. It leads them to be anxious with this business. Uh, they get really volatile. They get really emotional. And this is why like, got to start positioning yourself in a way to work with great customers. Okay. That's really clear. Now let's go down. Uh, this, in my opinion, this is kind of the, the bread and butter of what I do and what I've done for the last eight years with coaches, specifically coaches that I've worked with one-on-one, uh, where I get to spend a lot more time with them in person, right? So you can have the greatest skills training program in the world, right? Uh, you can have the best reputation. You can have yada, yada, yada. You can have all the accolades. Uh, but there is a difference. And I am going to break it down here in this video so you can actually hear it and, and see what I'm talking about. But there's a huge difference between being an awesome trainer and having these awesome sessions that kids like um, and people come back to versus an, an impactful program that actually transforms the client. Okay. And let me give you an example. Okay. So a couple of years ago, I was working with this uh, baseball trainer. And if you want to do your digging on YouTube, go to, go to my channel. You can find the interview where I interviewed him. Uh, and his biggest problem was he was like, he's an awesome trainer. He is an awesome trainer, but he was just running session by session by session with all of his clients. People were paying by the hour and he was making good money, right? He was making good money doing that. His biggest problem was there wasn't a real commitment from his clients. They were coming to see him but they weren't there every week. Sometimes they would take weeks off. Sometimes they would take months off. Um, sometimes they would text them right before the session saying, can't make it. And although he was an awesome trainer, he started to see that there wasn't a, a real consistency in his business. And this was because of how he was selling his program. He was selling it session by session or he was selling these packs of sessions. And if you're doing business like that right now, uh, that is better. Like if you're selling packs of sessions, that's better than doing session by session. But it's better if you sell an impactful program, meaning the client is responsible for being there for a certain period of time. This could be three, six, or 12 months. Okay. And at the end of the term, like there's a result that has been achieved. That result is something you talk about on the sales call with the parent. So this way they know what to expect and this gets them to show up on a weekly basis, set day, set time, um, set agreement. And you turn your business from a lessons based business, which 99.9% .9 of coaches in this industry, I'm just telling you right now, they run it as a lessons based business. They are conditioned to doing things that way. Uh, they see other people on Instagram doing it that way. Like we developed the model 
in, in my opinion, like to switch that mindset over to a, a higher term agreement between you and parents. Like it's something I introduced to the marketplace in my city uh, in 2012, 2011, 2012, um, a couple years after I started my business, I realized I have to do this. Like no one in my city was doing that. I didn't meet or know any trainers that were within sports that were doing it that way. Uh, and then once I started to see that work with my business, coaches started to reach out to me. Hence why I started this YouTube channel a few years after that. Cause like we realized that model could actually like really help other people in other sports. Um, and that's a difference though. It's impactful program. I went from selling lessons to an impactful program and it's crazy. Like when we think about, if I go back up here, foundation to a six figure business built to last, it's a lot easier to run this business when you work with people that you're not begging, like you're not begging them to show up. And I want that to sink in for a second. Like, look, look at your text messages that you have right now. Are you, are you sending out a text every Sunday to get people to schedule sessions with you? Are you getting text messages right before your session saying that they can't make it? Like, if this stuff is happening to you right now, you are, you might be an awesome trainer, but you're not running and not selling an impactful program that transforms the client. Because when you run it that way, I've said, I've said this in other videos, but when you run it this way, you're able to charge more, work with people that want to be there, and you can just focus on doing your job, which is like train the player, help them get results, and help them become accountable to, to your system. All right? And that is very, very different than session by session or selling packs of sessions. So if you're watching this video and you're like, man, like I really want to take the next step with my business. I want these types of clients that are serious, that want that, and I want to sell an impactful program, not just session by session. If that's you, go right below this video. You're going to see my phone number. I'll say my number right here too. It's 210-960-5771. Text me. I talk to so many coaches throughout the week. It is crazy right now. This is all I do, right? So if you want someone to look at your business and show you tweaks that you need to make and you're looking for like a real mentor that has actually done this for a living like i have actually run a training business i ran that for 13 years yeah i've, I've seen every single possible thing you can imagine within that period of time uh and now i just consult with coaches this is all i do um so if you are that type of person you're serious you want to dominate with this business and you want the right foundation send me a text right below this video. You'll see my number. And I can't wait to talk with you, coach. Hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you later.